Number four, number three. Good morning from Bobblehead Homestead. This is Jeff. Today is Wednesday. Yeah. It rained last night and rained and rained and rained and rained and this area really needed it. We hadn't had a whole lot of rain in the past three months so it was definitely needed but that means it is muddy outside today. So I'm gonna have to find some uh, some projects to do. Might even have to put on my mud boots boots for the first time. Number four is dancing on the tub where I keep the food. I think that she's trying to tell me something. Okay. Anyway, yeah, I went into town yesterday. It rained. Rained yesterday. I got back just after dark. I did pretty good backing in with my solar lights. And hey, the sun's coming out right in my eyes. So it's probably going to be a good day after all. Um... Hmm. Don't know what I'm going to do yet. Make some coffee later. Last night when I got home, just after dark, this little girl is, she's usually sitting on these steps waiting for me to open the door and let her in and give her some food and pet her and everything like that. But last night, when I backed up, got out of my truck... And I'm walking up to the, walking towards the stairs, and I look over, and the cat jumped down from the rafters onto that top mattress. Yep. So, I'm thinking with the extra height of that uh, mattress on top there, the cat can now jump up into the rafters. And I'm thinking the the hens don't like hanging out in the rafters when the cat can get up there and bother them. They're taking a nap. They don't want to have to deal with the cat. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking putting that mattress up there is what uh, is what's keeping the chickens away because they don't want the cat bothering them. So I don't. I'll have to yank it down somehow or. Or the chickens are just going to have to suffer. One thing I'm going to have to do today, I'm in my bedroom, is uh, vacuum. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah. When your shoes are wet and you walk on that OSB floor, it just comes right up onto your shoes. And then I track it into my bedroom, so... Pretty much every other day, I have to vacuum, or um, or I can't see the carpet anymore. It gets bad. That OSB stuff is just, I don't know. I don't think I like it very much. Okay, time to work. Time to do dishes at Bobblehead Homestead. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, uh, all yeah, I just got a tub. Uh, hot soapy water and then with it being in the in the tub inside the utility tub I can empty that where I want it to go with all the rain um, the where the drain comes out of this mobile home it gets kind of wet <laughs> the more I use the water so this way I can control where that water goes that's just dawn detergent so it's not great but at least it's pretty neutral but still I'll put it somewhere else um, yeah my scrubby sponge thing I keep that in a little uh, like a you know plastic storage container just to keep the bugs out of it and I'll take it outside during the day and stick it in the Sun and that'll dry it out and then I'll put it in there and okay we'll catch up after I do my dishes that is pretty much it when it comes to dishes at Bobblehead Homestead thus far. Uh, 
uh, one knife for mostly for cream cheese for bagels a uh, fork I use that for a lot of cooking stuff and a couple of spoons and last night was the first time I used that pizza pan um, unfortunately that pizza pan does not fit in the toaster oven but when you buy a cheapo pizza like I brought home last night <laughs> um, it doesn't have the cardboard so you got to cut it on something so that that pizza pan did come in handy although I can't cook on it and yeah my coffee cup and the uh, filter area for the coffee maker the coffee pot and I've got one Tupperware storage thing that I put, you know, like leftover brats or stuff like that. But I also keep the silverware in there. And then that smaller Tupperware thing, I've got my uh, sponge, scrubby sponge. And, yeah, so that's it for dishes at the homestead thus far. I will, I do need another, uh, I need another tub so I've got one for washing and one for rinsing and those are like two bucks so I'll have to pick one up next time but I'm not really in any hurry to do a bunch of uh, cooking yet I'll get there I'll get there eventually at least now I've got the sink where it is a possibility so that's one of the things I've done today so today was full of little stuff that needed to get done and I've still got a few more things. I vacuumed, I did the dishes, I put away some of the stuff that I brought back last night. I stopped by the grocery store so I've got, you know, bread and uh, stuff that needed to go into my room into the tub so I got that situated and some of the stuff I, you know, sorted through what I'm going to leave in the truck and what comes inside. Uh, stuff I leave in the truck I probably won't use for a few days but um, let's see uh, what did I get yesterday well behind me you can see there are some garden hoses so yeah I picked up some garden hoses which were not in use I will put them in use those tubs in that bucket that's what I hauled to the dumpster so that makes it easier I can put the larger heavier junk in there and take it to the dumpster because it won't really fit in the uh, trash bags well it will those really heavy ones but I'm saving those for special occasions uh, what else did I get uh, I picked up a few other things maybe all well those are all in my truck but I got some chick starter feed yesterday organic uh, stopped at Atwoods and what else did I get? I got a chick feeder, just one of those little screw-in ones round. It'll it'll work good enough. I got a uh, one of those heat lamps and the bulb for it. I got one of those. That I'll probably start off with. I do want to, as I hatch more chicks in the future, I do want to upgrade that to a to a better one. But it will work for now. Let's see. I got some fencing that's like two feet by 25 feet but it was on clearance at Atwood so it was very cheap so I went ahead and picked that up I will need that around the bottom bottom of the chicken coop because the cattle panels are well they're pretty big chicken could probably get through there and not to mention other stuff getting in although I will have it surrounded by electric fencing but I do want to keep uh, you know smaller chicks when they're growing up in there so around the bottom of that cattle panel anyway I now have some plastic chicken and it is plastic it's not metal uh, which is probably why it's so cheap but I figured hey I will give it a try since it's on on sale and they're getting rid of it I did not get lumber yesterday. Uh, it was raining, so I figured ah, I don't need it quite yet. But I was able to price it out. I need a couple 2x4x8s. By by I need some 1x2s, pressure treated or outdoor treated. I think they're pressure treated. 
And for the door, I need some hinges. I need some more wood screws. And then I need a tarp. 10 by 16, if anybody has one lying around and has free shipping somehow. <laughs> okay, that might be, I don't know what else is on my agenda for today. That might be it. If it is, everybody have a great week of winter holiday season. Kitty's out exploring. What's up, kitty? Here comes my neighbor. I have to leave. Dudes, I get interrupted making a stupid video of whatever the cat's doing, and I come home with... That! <laughs> oh my gosh. Talk about a cool neighbor with cows. This is plastic coated chicken wire. And it's six feet tall, and I don't know how much of a roll that was. But he saw my project, and I was explaining, you know, how I was going to turn that into a chicken coop. And he's like, I've got all this plastic-coated chicken wire that I'm not using. It's been sitting there. I was going to use it on this. And dudes, dudes, this saves me a ton of money. So I got to I gotta start coming up with ways to pay back the favors. That's, that's all I got to say. Okay, that's probably it from Bobblehead Homestead today. Uh, <laughs> every day is a great day at Bobblehead Homestead. Even when I take off, I come back with uh, much-needed garden hoses and, and tubs for hauling junk back and forth. And uh, uh, Okay, everybody have a good night. Alright, so I was getting ready to throw out this dishwater. But before I did, I was thinking, what else can I use this for? And I'm like, duh, I've got a whole bunch of dishes and, and all kinds of stuff that need to be washed um, that might be garage sale worthy in the future. So I think what I need to start doing is every time I do dishes, also do a batch of the stuff that was left around here. For example, I've still got all that. <laughs> All that stuff. So I can start cleaning that up, boxing it up for a potential garage sale in the future. So today I am just, I'm through all of the ashtrays in here. Big gold leaf ashtray. The purple one. I think I know where that's going. Maybe. Uh, copper probably. Two glass ones. A uh, little glass, that little green one's kind of cool. Uh, another copper one that matches the other. And then this thing, whatever that is. So, yeah, I'm just going to clean me some ash trays. And then that might be it for today. <laughs>